Well, the recent surge of COVID cases forced Boston to shut down again. Here to explain the numbers is Dr. Helen Boucher, Chief of Geographic Medicine and Infectious Diseases at Tufts Medical Center. Good to see you. Good to see you, Emily. All right, so the city's test positivity rate, 9.6% now. What does that tell you about the situation that we're in? Well, unfortunately, it tells us that we're back in trouble in terms of too many infections and likely not enough people being tested. Okay, so Mayor Walsh today is saying that hospital admissions, they've also increased. Um, he is making the point, though, that they're still lower than where they were last spring. Is that true for you at Tufts Medical Center? Are the hospitals talking to each other about capacity at this point? Yeah, so Emily, it's good news that for all of us, the hospital admissions are still um, much lower than in the spring, about 20% of what we saw at the surge in the spring. So as Governor Baker has been pointing out, there's still plenty of capacity and we are communicating very well across the state. I've never seen the kind of collaboration that we've seen during this epidemic. Yeah, that said, these numbers being so high is not good okay. and we need to get to work to stop the spread. So let's talk quickly about vaccines. The early reports about effectiveness this week, last week, really encouraging. As an expert on all of this, what questions do you still have? Well, absolutely, Emily, there still are questions, right? We have data from press releases that is promising, but we need to let the process play out so that we can see the safety data, especially as well as the effectiveness data at that two month follow up point that was promised by both companies. And so we're very anxious to see the FDA review, then the external advisory committee, and then our CDC colleagues review and recommendation of any vaccine uh, before it's authorized. It's important to keep that process in mind. I think, um, you know, with all of that, when we hear this good news, some people believe that if they get a vaccine, they won't get COVID at all. But today, Dr. Fauci said the vaccines won't work unless a lot of people get them. Can you explain the nuance here? Yeah, so this is a really important point. So vaccines work when enough people are vaccinated and immune that the spread stops so that there's no more spread in this case of COVID-19. So we need to get about half of the population vaccinated before we know that it'll be safe to start doing things like going back to normal activities. So that's gonna take time and we're gonna need to be patient and still buckle down, wear our masks, physically distance and do all the hard work that we're doing until we reach that time. Yeah, all of those preventive measures. Okay, Dr. Bruchet, thank you for your time every week. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Emily.